So we are here to talk about traction pillows. Yay! <laughs> I'm Dr. Christy Porterfield. I'm Dee Dee. And the traction pillow is one of the best things that you can do for your spinal health at home. It's a little bit like brushing your teeth, mm -hmm. but for your spine. And we always advise people to not try and do this in the middle of the day. So the basics of a traction pillow are that you're laying down for 15 minutes with the traction pillow stretching and getting your tendons and your ligaments and your muscles of your neck to go the way that they're supposed to. So if you try and lay down for 15 minutes in the middle of the day, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. So Dee Dee has a trick on how she does hers. Well, don't tell anybody, but I'm not a morning person and I probably hit snooze four to five times. I'm not going to lie. Um, and so that's perfect for me. I can grab the pillow, put it on my neck. I can hit three or four times on snooze and that gives me my 15, sometimes 20 minutes, depending on how many times I hit snooze, gives me my traction in the morning. Yeah, and, and you can actually do that at the other end too. So sometimes I'll suggest that to people and they'll say, oh, I pop right up in the morning. Well, you've got the other side of the clock too. So do it when you're going to bed at night as well. Absolutely. I don't... It makes some people kind of sleepy. For me, it doesn't make me sleepy. It helps me wake me up. Yeah. So if it does make you sleepy, that would be perfect for you to do at nighttime. Yeah. I also snooze in the morning, so that's how I do my traction pillow. And, you know, if to be honest, if I didn't do it that way, I would have a really hard time being successful with it because laying down in the middle of the day is just not optimal for most yeah, people. It wouldn't happen for me. Yeah. And so if um, one other question that I get a lot of the time is, well, I don't feel like I get as much of a pull, like the, the traction doesn't feel right because my bed is really cushy. And so if that's the case for you, then the trick is to scoot all the way to the end of the bed and let your head hang off. Mm -hmm. Let me show you. Yeah, let's, let's, um, let's demonstrate that. All right, so she's all the way at the edge of the table, and so this would be at the edge of the bed. Let me look at it right. Make sure I'm doing it right. <laughs> Good. I've noticed that some people are pulling it towards them this way, which also will pop it out, and that's not what you want it to do. Definitely want to grab it from the back side. Yeah, perfect. And see how she's right at the edge so her head can actually come more over the, the edge of the table or the bed. And so if your bed is really, really soft, that'll give you enough pull so you can still do the traction pillow in bed um, where you're nice and comfy when you're waking up or going to sleep. Um, so there's not going to be an issue there. And like she said, make sure it's really pushed in there. If it's tilting your head up, it's you're doing it wrong. Yeah, like that wrong, right. All right. That's how you do your traction pillow. <laughs>